Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel and we just hit 200 subscribers and thank you guys for so much for all the support and I have a special video coming out in a couple days regarding this achievement and for this video I wanted to show you guys something different and this shows how to recover your data from your iPhone and you don't have to have the device unlocked in order to do this which is the best thing about it so let's say your screen went out and you haven't made a backup yet this program will allow you to extract data like pictures and messages for example and this program is called Tenorshare So all you guys want to do is go ahead and head over to the website. I will have the link in the description and we'll go right here into data recovery and on the side we'll see iPhone, iPad, etc, etc. All we want to do is we want to go on iPhone data recovery. We're going to wait for it to load up and we have the option to free trial or to buy. Now this program is a bit pricey but I guarantee that once you guys do recover your data it will be worth it. So if you guys do want to check it out you guys can read and go ahead and look around and know what that website has to offer. Now also the scan does work in different areas. So for example we do have the iPhone data recovery without the backup. So basically what I just said. Another is iTunes data recovery. So if you did restore it with iTunes then you can be able to retrieve your data back. And also a third option is to restore iPhone data with iCloud backup. So if you guys did backup via iCloud, you guys can extract data from that way. Now prior to using this program, I do recommend you updating to the latest version of iTunes for the iPhone backup to be successful. So once we have all that, we can go ahead and open up the program. I just wanted to show you guys what it does. So for example, I do have my iPhone right here. I'm going to just plug it in right now. Alright, so now that my phone is detected, we can go ahead and press start scan. Now depending on how your iPhone is or iDevice is and how much stuff you guys have in it and also the capacity of how much it can hold depends on how fast the scanning process will take place. So for me, I do not have a lot of things on my iDevice so the scan will be fairly quickly. So as you can see, the scan is complete and all we can do is just press OK. So the first thing we will be greeted with is call history. So now as you can see, we do have the option to see all of the call history and I will blur this out so I don't want you guys to see what I am calling and who I am calling. So we do have the option to see who it was, the phone number, the time and date, the type, and the duration of the call. And I think it's pretty neat to know that what your call history is and personally I do not need to know my call history in the future so this would not be an option for me to back up. So the next thing we're going to see on the left side panel is the contacts. Now this may be something that you guys all want to recover. So as you can see we do have a list of all the contacts that are on my device depending on what kind of phone it is, the phone number, and the name. So as you can see I do have a fairly lot of contacts on my phone. Now if you do scroll down, we do see that there is a lot of crossed out contacts. Now these are most likely the ones you guys have actually deleted. Now the cool part of this is it scans the whole entire conversation. So depending on whatever name you guys choose, for example this one right here, we can also see the chat on the side. And the best thing about it is we can also see the attachments that a person has sent. So that brings me back to the next one on the left side. So we do have the SMS attachments. Click on this, you guys will see a strand of SMS attachments. So the next option we get is notes. Now as you can see, we do have a lot of notes on my phone, and which I do have a lot on my phone. So basically, whatever notes you see on your phone will also display right here. You can also click on whichever one, and on the right side panel, you will also be able to see what the note actually contains. Safari is another thing that this program also has. Now basically, whatever bookmark that you guys have on Safari, it will also display right here. So moving down next to the calendar, we do see that I have 312 calendar plans. So as you can see, I do have the title, the description, and also the time of date that it starts and the time that it ends, and where it takes place, and if it takes all day or not. We also see that it also has a location, description, and also a URL. And another thing for text content recovery is reminders. So as you can see, I do have two reminders that I had and I still have on my phone and I haven't deleted it. So as you can see, we do have it right here and it also says uncomplete. Or depending on if you guys do complete it, then it will say completed. And the red again are reminders or anything that you guys have deleted before syncing the device with this program. So the next thing a lot of you guys are going to want to watch this video for is the media content recovery. So for example, my photos right here. 
as you can see I do have 99 photos on my camera roll and as you can see I will blur it out as well I do have a lot of photos that are on here so the best thing about it is you can recover it prior to unlocking your device so for example I will show you guys right here is recover so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go ahead and go into the left hand panel we're gonna check mark on the photos and we're gonna press recover now what's gonna happen is it's gonna take a little while depending on how many photos or data that you guys have in that section or sections that you chose. Now momentarily you guys will get a new window that pops up and it will have your device name. Once you click on it, it'll tell you the date that you guys backed up. That's gonna be right here. We're gonna click on that and go to photos and as you can see that it backs up all your photos that are on your device right now. And I think this is probably the best things that this program has to offer and I do recommend you guys getting this for the photos because I know a lot of you guys have a lot of photos that are very special to you guys. Now going down on other photos, I am not too sure on where these photos come from because I do see a lot of photos that I don't even know how I got on here but I will also blur it out as well. So as you can see, I do have a ton more photos. So it goes up to 12 pages on the bottom. Now app videos are also what happens in the videos tab. So for example, I have three and I can back that up as well. Now the rest on the side, I do not have any type of data for. So for example, voice memos, I don't have any. Voicemail, I do not have any. As well as WhatsApp, Tangle, Viber, and Messenger. But if you guys do have any data for any of these applications, then it will display on the screen. Now this is just for recovering data on the iOS device. Recovering data from iTunes and as well as iCloud are exactly the same format. It'll basically show you a list of things that you can back up on the side, as well as the contents that displays inside of it. So yeah guys, I do recommend you guys getting this product. It is worth it on every cent you guys pay and it also works on iOS 9 as well as the iPhone 6S. So I think that's one of the great features that it also has. This program is also available on Windows as well as Mac. So if you guys have any of those equipment, then you guys can in fact use the software. So yeah guys, thank you for 200 subscribers and leave a like if you guys like this video. Subscribe to get content just like this in the future as well as follow my Twitter page down below to get informed when the new iOS 9.2 or 9.2.1 jailbreak will be released. Links to all these will also be in the description. So I'll see you guys on my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.